Welcome to our channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create powerful functions and formulas using ChatGPT in Excel. Let's see an example. The goal is to create the between function that takes a range and performs various calculations between two numbers. For example, sum, count, and average. To do that, write a detailed description before asking ChatGPT. Wait a few seconds. ChatGPT returns a ready-to-use solution. Okay, it's time to try the function. So first, select the range. Next, add the minimum and maximum limits. Then use true to include the limits. Finally, add one as the fifth argument to sum the matching values. Looks great. In the next chapter, we'll introduce a few Excel functions examples. To look up and return multiple values in one cell, use the mLOOKUP function. Select the lookup value. Then add the lookup array. Finally, select the result array. The function returns a comma-separated list. To count cells based on various criteria, use the COUNTX function. So first, select the range. The second argument controls the type of data you want to count. Use it to count dates, numbers, formulas, boolean, or text values. Use the COMPARE function to extract common values from two lists and get the result into a dynamic array. Select the two ranges and press ENTER. Using the optional third argument, you can perform various comparisons. The nvlookup function is similar to vlookup, but returns the nth matching value. Select the lookup value. Add the lookup array, then the column number. In the example, we want to get the third matching value. Looks great. In the last few months, we integrated hundreds of functions into our free and portable add-in. All functions have IntelliSense support, like the regular Excel functions. Thanks for being with us today. Stay tuned.